Hi teachers, I'm excited to be coming to your school to do a guided reading lesson fourth grade with some of your students. Um, four students are gonna be in the group and I wanted to give you a heads up and a preview of what you're gonna see in the lesson because once we get in there, things will go pretty quickly. So you'll be getting a full detailed lesson plan so of what you're gonna see so that you can know what to expect. Of course, I'm going to be responsive to the readers as we're in the room, so always knowing that um, that's the plan, but I'm going to be responsive to their needs as we as the lesson goes. Um, we're going to be reading the text Belina. It's a tall tale because they are reading tall tales in shared reading, and um, so we're going to match the, the, the genre and the strategy, and the, sorry, the standard. Um, from what they're doing in shared. So the focus standard will be uh, fourth grade RL 1.3. We're gonna be really focusing on describing the character and making inferences about the character based off the details in the text. Um, and of course that's gonna be the genre and the setting are, gonna, are going to play into that heavily within this text. Um, so um, I have four students. The teacher made the grouping for me. She used iReady. Uh, instructional grouping three and she used some um, running records and um, class observations as well and so um, then I looked into their school city data from their recent interim and noticed that for this standard um, three of the four students missed um, the two questions so they had zero percent and one student had 50 percent with this standard so it's definitely a need um, and when I dug into iReady a little bit more I also noticed that they the students, while they also have a, they have a comprehension need, they also have a vocabulary need. So in the lesson plan, you'll see some places where I've pulled out some pieces of vocabulary, some words and phrases that um, I am going to um, ask them questions about and, and, and specifically encourage them to apply some um, determining word meaning strategies to, to help determine the meaning of those words. And the lesson plan is going to have those details. You're also going to receive a a um, note-taking sheet so that you can capture your notes and thoughts and questions and some ideas you want to try and then we'll have some time after the lesson to debrief so we can talk together and and um, and you can ask me any questions from there um, from what you saw in the lesson so I'm looking forward to being able to do that be sure to include that time when you're planning for um, yourself being out of the classroom just have some extra time in the end for us to debrief. So I'm using a strategy from the Reading Strategies book. It is called the Out of Character Character, and it um, has students thinking of when a character is acting differently than they have been all along or differently than we would expect. So it's gonna be a hybrid of this strategy, and um, a lot of the prompts come right from here. Some of the lesson language comes right from this strategy. It's a great book. I've also combined it with the Notice and Note strategy um, of contrast and contradictions and um, I'm just renaming it as we often do right make changes to make them our own so I'm, I'm kind of blending those two together and you'll see the strategy is going to be um, contrasting characters and I am going I, I did that purposely so that um, the students can have that strategy that's a, a, something very easy to name and see in all of the text that they read so fiction text so that it will apply, they can apply it easily to um, all of the reading that they do, especially in independent reading, because that's the goal, right? Transfer it from shared to guided, transfer it independent and, and help them to be successful readers. You'll see me do a writing record. In this instance, I went ahead and copied a page of the guided reading book. I didn't use the one that was printed in Journeys already be just because I'm gonna be modeling heavily on that first page. So I wanted to, um, do a running record on a student when they are actually doing the full reading. So I copied a page from the book. This also has lots of rooms for me to take some, some notes um, and do my MSQ analysis from the running record. So that's why I like to have this, this nice photocopied page of the book. If it's an article I'm doing, I just copy the article, but a lot of times I just copy the page right from the book. So that um, as some overviews, I did get to meet those students before. So that's important to me. Um, and, but I, but again, I'm visiting the class, so um, I anticipate that I'm gonna have to, to really be responsive to what's actually happening right in the moment with the, of the lesson, right? Kind of as we always do anyway. Um, let's see, and I think that's the, that's the basics, and you'll receive that extra information in your email, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for the guided reading lesson. Thanks, have a great day.